The Philippine military revealed that China had sent a ship to Benham Rise. An underwater plateau located on the Philippines' eastern seaboard. In 2012, the United Nations confirmed that Benham Rise is part of Philippines territory. It is at the center of Asia's marine biodiversity and its resources remain untapped. This is why despite China's claim of innocent passage, its presence here has raised concerns. China is also involved in a dispute with the Philippines over the Spratly Islands in the South China Sea. China's incursions have raised tensions with other regional countries. The Northern Luzon Command of the Philippine military says there are lessons to be learned. This is a case of David and Goliath. Despite our having inferior resources, no, we're coming up with a very superior strategy in order to defend uh, uh, our nation. The military says it has crafted a long-term plan that includes upgrading its capabilities and increasing its presence in disputed waters. But many here know that is easier said than done. With more than 13 million hectares, the government admits it is not easy to patrol Benham Rise. Foreign countries have shown interests. Vessels have started to enter the territory, doing explorations without the Philippine government's consent. And military officials are concerned. The Benham Rise, they say, may be the next security flashpoint. A few weeks ago, Chinese warships docked in President Rodrigo Duterte's hometown for a goodwill visit. It was the first time in eight years that the Chinese military was given permission. Since taking office last year, President Duterte has talked about pursuing an independent foreign policy, moving away from its long-standing ally, the United States, while building closer relations with China and Russia. But some see Duterte's approach as dangerous. Allowing China to do that puts us well within China's uh, sphere of influence. In other words, we are enabling China to become the um, new the imperial master in this part of the world. Okay? So the Philippines is enabling it, and in the same way, it is um, putting into jeopardy the national security interests of its um, partners in ASEAN. Many here say Duterte may be sending a risky message that China can get away with its incursions and that smaller countries, including the Philippines, will have to bend to China's will. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Benham Rise, Eastern Philippines.